Hey guys, uh, once again this is Ryan and this is the part 2 of our Python uh, GUI using tkinder. So in the last video, uh, we created the basic uh, front end for this project. So again, uh, this is the example of what we're trying to do. So name, gender, and uh, these are all the widgets or object that we have to put in our GUI. So let's try to run this again and see what we have. So click run. And you have to make sure to click the correct project since, as you can see on my screen, I have two, GUI and GUI2. So I'm going to have to run GUI2. And this is it for now. So name, this is the entry, this is the label gender. And then the radio one, which is male, and radio two, which is female. And I think the next thing that we have to add is our button. So the way we add the button is simply like let's try to um, add in here. I think so. Let's create a variable. Uh, we call it BTN. So you can name whatever you want. And this is going to be equal to button and this takes a few parameters uh, the first one is again where do we want it to put the button and let's call it root in our example uh, text um, it's gonna be register I guess or enter Now, next parameter is the background color of the button itself. So that's BG or background color. And let's have green. And then the next one is the FG or the foreground or the color of the caption or the text. So let's have white in our example. And we also have to like align this BTN, so that's BTN dot grid, and let's have. Uh, let me check. So the button here is it's uh, actually in the row three, and it's in column two. Oh no, sorry, column one, and that is expanding. So it it actually um, sits in column two for the submit button. So what we have to do here is uh, for the row is going to be equal to let's say three, and let's uh, three, and then column span and that is 2 now let's tr let's see what we have so far this one so I think I'm gonna have to choose another color uh, it's let's say black okay okay so when I enter this uh, button, nothing happens since we don't have the uh, command for the button. So now let's add another um, function for the BTN. Okay. So every time we click the BTN or the button itself, it's going to call a function. Okay. And then the function in programming is simply like, um, it's like, it's it's a part of the program that when that function is being called the code inside of that function is is executed okay so we have to have like uh, we need to create a function here so the way we create function in Python is this diff and then the name of the function so I'm gonna have to say show uh, show data okay that's how we that's how we define function in Python. And here in BTN, let's have 
another parameter it's called the command and this is going to be equal to our function which is show underscore data okay so every time I click the uh, BTN it's gonna call this function now let's try to say print uh, function or this is a function try to say I think we have to put this in code since this is a string sorry for that okay, let's try to run this and see what we have run so if I hit enter and that shows the this is a function so that means it's working Okay, so um, let's try to run this again and see what we have, um, you know, just to test. So click run, and when I click enter, so this is where I get the string of text. This is a function. So again, this BTN or the button itself, it has a command, this one. Whenever I click the button, it's gonna call the function show data and the show data is right here okay so this is the this is how you write functions in Python so diff and then the name of the function open closing and then the colon okay now we're gonna have to remove this since we're not going to um, show that text in our console so uh, what we're trying to do is that it's gonna it's gonna display the 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 name and the gender okay so first and foremost uh, let's create a new variable and in this time I'm gonna have to call this txt name and this variable will contain the value of whatever text that we have to type in the name okay so every time we like during runtime when I have to type in my name that name is going to be stored onto the txt name that variable and then the way we do that in Python is simply like uh, it's gonna be the entry so you just have to type in ENT that's the name of our entry and then dot get okay that's it so it's gonna get the data and, and then store it in txt name and then for the radio button for the male and female it's gonna be um, var check I oh, know sorry uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to you know use a name like gender I guess is equal to the variable which is var underscore ch key and it's gonna be dot get okay so let's try, let's try to print this again let's see what we have so i'm gonna have txt name comma and then gender okay so let's run this i'll stop and run okay so i'm gonna have to type my name ryan of course i'm a male enter and that shows ryan and one now why is it one like i said if i choose male its value is equal to 1. If I choose female, its value is equal to 2. Okay? So let's try to run this again. Uh, stop and rerun. So, Ryan, female, and that is Ryan 2. Okay? Now, let's try to make a sentence here. Okay, so let's try to make a uh, like an if statement. So if gender is equal to one, sorry about that. Now gender is going to be equal to sir. Else gender is equal to ma'am. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to have to continue this on the next video.